Yes, you know what it is. That time, culinary hotline bling. Ting, ting, ting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Zola Nene is in the house. 083-9133-728. That's our telephone line for you to call to ask your questions regarding anything culinary. And of course, we take your questions from Facebook as well. Are you ready, Zoe? I'm so ready. Fantastic stuff. So, <laughs> a question we had last week from Charlene, who called in from Pretoria, said, uh, Hi, Zola. Hi, Charlene. How can, uh, how can I, or... Uh, Wait, how to <laughs> or can you freeze raw potatoes? <laughs> I had to read that twice over. So how, how do you freeze raw potatoes or can you, should you? Okay, so my advice for freezing pot raw potatoes is don't do it. Huh? Okay, so okay. this is a potato we've frozen, first of all. It's rock hard, you can't really do much you're, with it. You're, but you're, then once you, <laughs> once you defrost it, can you feel what this feels like? So this is a potato that was frozen and then and it's all... It's all mushy. It's all mushy and the texture's all funny. Potatoes do last a really long time. So as long as you keep them in a dark cupboard, you actually also get potato bags that you can store potatoes in so that they don't go green and get that solanine. You know when a potato's green? Yes, yes, That's yes. what solanine is. Solanine, Yeah, okay. and that's actually toxic, but you have to eat copious amounts of it to actually get affected. Okay. Um, so if you do want to... If you have too many potatoes and you do want to freeze them, blanch them first. So boil the potatoes then freeze them, because that's okay. You can do that. I mean, you buy ready-made, you know, chips for the oven and roast potatoes for the oven. Those are already par-cooked. Yes. That's why they, they freeze so well. Okay. But freezing a raw potato is not advisable. Also, you'll find sometimes the potato actually goes black Ooh. if you freeze it from raw. Okay. Yeah, okay. And they do last so long anyway. You just have to store them correctly. So. You, s you speak about uh, blanching and par-cooking. Is yes. that different? No, no, same, same thing when it applies to potatoes. Yeah. yeah. How, how long does, does that... Um, I mean, it depending the on the size of the potato, if you cut this up, for example, I'd, bo I'd boil it, I mean, if you cut it into quarters, maybe yep. for about 15 minutes, yep. and then drain it, cool it, then freeze it. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then afterwards, you still have to cook it again in well, order to... Well, I mean, you'd want to heat it again or however. I wouldn't eat it straight from the freezer. No, like of course not. Come on. <laughs> what potato, is this? Potato popsicle, not, <laughs> not the vibe. Oh, ew. Anyway, <laughs> another question that we got from uh, Linda Renier. Uh, Klokau Hobbs, my goodness, what a great name. Um, it says, morning, you Olika people. Uh, my question is, what is marjoram? Hmm, mm -hmm. marjoram, and where can I get this? I what? love how Kat's given it like an espen, marjoram. <laughs> it's marjoram. But oh, sorry. <laughs> but okay. Marjoram, like I've that. never heard of it. Okay, so marjoram is basically a herb. It's, it's in the same family as oregano, and they're very interchangeable. Okay? okay, so marjoram is very, very difficult to find. It is just a, a milder and sweeter version of oregano. It's got a bit of a minty flavor to it. By the way, mint, um, oregano and marjoram are all part of the mint family as well, so they're all sort of interconnected. All right. Yeah. You've got a um, herb, herb, herbologist, <laughs> uh, aren't you? Uh, not quite. Anyway, <laughs> I just eat. Um, this is, this is um, fresh oregano, which is very easy to find. You can find it at most supermarkets, and this is what you'd use as a substitute. Obviously, oregano, as I said, tastes much stronger, so you'd mm. use less of it. Ah. And it is a so soft herb, something like marjoram, you'd chop, chop up and add more near the end. It's not, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a delicate herb as well. Can hey. you? Yeah. And now you, that you say it's part of the minty family, or the mint family, yeah. I can actually taste the mintiness in it. Yeah, and um, well, that seasoning that they put on pizza sometimes, you'll probably find that's oregano. So it goes really well with Italian food, and that's where you'll classically find it. Okay, fantastic yeah. stuff. Well, we'll continue answering your questions and taking your calls after the break. 83 But here's Ewan with what's coming up.